Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these Cadbury cream egg cookies. Let's begin. So into your mixing bowl of choice, you'll want to place your butter, your granulated white sugar and your light brown sugar and mix them all together until they are very well combined. Once well combined, you can then start to add your eggs one at a time, beating well in between each addition. If you need to scrape down the sides of the bowl, you can do that as well, but I didn't need to here. So once your eggs have been fully incorporated, you can then add in your vanilla and just mix that to incorporate. Then you can give the bowl a good scraping down just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. Next you'll want to sift in the dry ingredients. This is just to remove any lumps that may have built up in the mixture. It's quite common with cocoa powder. You can then mix this on a low speed to start, working your way up to a medium or a high. Once the dough starts to show, you can then add in your chopped chocolate. I'm just using Cadbury Dairy Milk, but feel free to use what you can get. Mix that in until fully incorporated, then give your bowl another good scraping down. So once you've got your cookie dough, you can then start to scoop up the dough for the cookies. I take two scoops per cookie, roll them together and flatten them slightly, and then place them onto a baking tray. And onto a baking tray, I normally either fit about six or eight on them. On this occasion, it was six. Place them onto the tray, then you can place them in your preheated oven. All of the information on how to make these, the weights and measurements will be in the blog post in the description down below. So once your cookies are baked and freshly out of the oven, you can then take your mini cream eggs and place two halves onto each cookie. This is what I found worked best, but feel free to use whatever you can get. If you need to use a whole big cream egg, cut it into quarters and that should work just fine. And an optional finish, if these cookies haven't got enough chocolate in them, you could always drizzle over some melted dairy milk. But again, this is optional and why not eat Easter? So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me and I'll be back again next week with another video. If you have any video suggestions for in the future, leave them in the comments down below. All the links will be in the description down below, so don't forget to check out the blog if you want to make these. But that's all for this week, bye guys.